Hello everyone. Before we get started, I want to mention that I will be on a stream this Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Cthulhu Kin and Friends show with a buddy of mine, Omegon. And we're going to be talking about the Trump-Russia-FISA document issue. So if you guys want to come out and join us, I would very much appreciate it. So let's get started. Based on things I have seen on Facebook recently, I would like to share with you a topic that is quite commonplace, but it's actually based in falsehood. And this is the idea that reality is perception, and perception is reality. Let me take a second and first explain how I got to this idea. Well, you see, I saw this post on Facebook defining gaslighting, and I thought to myself, you know, that's a pretty interesting thing right there. Gaslighting, emotional abuse, false information presented with the intention of making victims doubt their own memory, perception, and sanity. I thought to myself, wow, false information presented with, you know, all that stuff. It's false information. So saying facts isn't gaslighting. Wow, I never knew. Well, but now I can go forward and think, huh, go me. Well, my friend then messaged me on Facebook and said, well... Facts can be misinterpreted as an attempt at gaslighting, and then he shared this Psychology Today article, which goes through 11 warning signs of gaslighting. You know, gaslighting is a tactic which a person or entity, in order to gain more power, makes a victim question their reality. So, you know, let me, let me go through them then. They tell blatant lies. You know it's an outright lie, yet they are telling you this lie with a straight face. Okay, uh, sure. They deny they ever said something, even though you have proof. Okay, what what proof of somebody saying something besides, like, text or messages? Because it says, you know they say they would do something, you know you heard it, but they out and out deny it. Well, okay, so what's the proof? They use what is near and dear to you as ammunition. They know how important your kids are to you, and they know how important your identity is to you. Perhaps your identity shouldn't be as important as you think. If you have kids, they tell you you should not have had those children. Wow. What a dick. You know, that's not necessarily the same sentiment that everyone has. But I can see why single dudes might have that feeling. They wear you down over time. This is one of the insidious things about gaslighting. It is done gradually, over time. A lie here, a lie there, a snide comment every so often. Yeah... Uh, okay, it, is this a warning sign? Five, their actions do not match their words. That's what lying is. Six, they throw in positive reinforcement to confuse you. The person or entity that is cutting you down. Entity. The fuck. Telling you that you don't have value is now praising you for something you did. You mean somebody can be critical and complimentary at the same time? <gasps> what a thought. You think, well, maybe they aren't so bad. Yes, they are. Okay. Thanks, person you don't know the situation for. This is a calculated attempt to keep you off kilter. And again, to question your reality. Your reality, not reality. Your reality. They know confusion weakens people. Yes, sometimes you may hurt yourself in confusion. 8. They project. They are a drug user or a cheater. Yet they are constantly accusing you of that. Okay, this is, this is literally projection. That, that's, that is actually literally projection. 9. They try to align people against you. Gaslighters are masters at manipulating and finding the people they know will stand by them no matter what, and they use these people against you. A gaslighter is a constant liar. Yeah, we know. This is the same one as a little while earlier. They tell you or others that you are crazy. I'm gonna come back to this one in a second. 11. They tell you everyone else is a liar. <laughs> by telling you that everyone else, your family, the media... It again makes you question your reality. You've never known someone with the audacity to do this, so they must be telling the truth, right? No, it's a manipulation technique. Okay, so not necessarily a scientific article, I suppose. Not necessarily a study, but it's a blog post by a psychologist. So I would say that it has some merit, but more or less, this is still mostly based on one person perpetuating lies. I mean, about half of these points have to do with manipulating others or blatantly lying. But herein lies the problem. Many people gaslight themselves. They doubt themselves, and so will begin to perceive normal actions as threats or danger. In fact, on a lighter note, there's actually a series of memes dedicated to this very concept. 
the I bet he's thinking of other women memes. Now, theoretically, this kind of situation in real life could be based on actual history this person has had, meaning cheating or a lying ex or whatever. But this perceived truth based on this meme as scientifical evidence is frankly a lie. Okay, so memes aren't good explanations for things, but let's give you another media option here. How about Carrie Underwood? Have you ever heard the song Before He Cheats? Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a beach blonde tramp and she's probably getting thirsty. Do you hear that? Right now, he's probably slow dancing and she's probably getting frisky the fucking character in this song goes into great detail about what she did do to his car based on he's probably if you want to not be called crazy don't do that shit okay so popular media aside what else do i have to explain this phenomena of people doubting themselves and gaslighting themselves how about phobias or anxiety if you have known or been somebody with anxiety, you've probably heard or said the phrase, I don't believe people actually like me, or something of the sort. Now this is a very real problem with people with anxiety when it links to their personal opinions of feelings of self-worth. Similarly, with phobias, a child is scared of the dark. Why? Well, because phobias are irrational fears and they believe the dark is scary. But here's the thing. Realistically, the dark isn't scary, it's just the dark. And most likely, those with anxiety do actually have friends who treasure their presence. Unfortunately, in those cases, it's almost impossible to convince them otherwise because simply the perception is out of their control. Something else is influencing them. However, things like this propagate something sinister if it were always true. If perception were reality. If those perceptions were real, this means that their lives are terrifying and sad. That means every misinterpretation, every negative thought, anything that overpowers your reason and logical understanding is real. That's a dangerous thought to believe is real, and its relevance is all too prevalent when you see how much feelings over reason you see in the news. For example, then there's this picture, which I found on the same day. Men who slam doors and furniture are making sure you hear how much they want to hit you. Oh my god. Could you imagine if your door has no stopper and you push it a little too hard? In your mind you go, whoops, that didn't mean to do that. But in your girlfriend's mind, now she thinks you're about to snap. Holy fucking Christ. Parts of this might be true. I'm sure there are instances where this could be used to indicate seeds of domestic violence. But damn generalizing as fuck. I don't want to give the impression that any of these people are being intentionally disingenuous. I believe they have good intentions when making these comments. You want to let people know about these, you know, abusive, manipulative people. Sure, of course. However, my perception of these posts, as well as everything else, is based on the real words, the real things, not what it was implied not what is necessarily assumed. These people said these things. Therefore, that is what was said, and that is what I will read and understand. So I will make this assertion. No, perception is not reality. Reality is reality. Perception of reality can be real for you, but no one else. That doesn't make it reality. That's what perception will be. Your side of the story. Well, guess what? Your side of the story can be wrong. So be aware the next time you want to share this image. Try doing it right now. Whoever you have around, draw a six or a nine and show it to somebody upside down. Probably they know this little, you know, perception joke and trick and oh, reality is perception. But ask them what, what they see. Regardless of the answer they give you, you either drew a six or a nine to do the experiment. So you know what reality is regardless of what they answer.